What's up, everybody? This is your girl, Melissa Renee, with BellaMonet.com. And right now, we're about to talk about this full moon in Aquarius. Oh, I wasn't able to do the full moon last month because, you know, I was vacationing. But today... I'm here to do this full moon. And yes, honey, it is last minute. I'm going to hurry up and shop this up and have this up there for y'all to see, baby. I wait too long, but we won't get into that. We're going to just sip on this Riesling wine by um, Black Girl Magic. I love it. Mm-hmm. Right now, this full moon Aquarius energy is giving me everything. And if y'all watch my new moon in Cancer, y'all know that when I speak on the new moons, the full moons, all of these things. I am speaking as it relates to me and my life and the energy that I get from it, okay? So I am in no way a no astrologer or like whatever the case may be. This is just off of my own intuition and my own feelings, energy, and insight. So I just wanna make that disclaimer, okay? Y'all take this how you will and how you want, okay? Basically the sun period being in Leo is giving everything. And that's why I kinda like, I understand, you know, the whole running joke about the seasons. Oh, it's Leo season, it's Pisces season, etc. But I want us to kind of get out of the idea of thinking that. I just want us to get out of the habit of mocking other signs. Who's the best zodiac sign? I mean, it's fun and it's cute, but it is, it's really people out there who take it to heart and take it seriously because we all have signs more than one sign in our birth chart. We don't just have our sun sign. Our sun sign is personality that we are growing into. You know, you have the sun sign, you have your rising sign, you have your moon sign. It's something we can take from each and every sign that comes. We all can channel and get the benefits of this energy. So that's why it doesn't make sense to kind of like mock the the different signs because you can definitely take in these energies based off of the sun and the moon and really util utilize it in your everyday life. For instance, right now, like I said, we have Aquarius in the full moon right now. Well, that's coming up and that will be, I know Eastern Standard Time is around like two something o'clock. So the Aquarius energy, it gives individuality, gives very much for social change and uh, connecting and just, building a community off the basis and the premises of what's right. You know, that's where that independence and rebellious comes in. Very unique, you know, um, and definitely the creativity. That is what the Aquarius energy gives us. So for this full moon in Aquarius, we can channel the energy to become more independent if we need to become more independent to stand on our own truths and our beliefs that's where that rebellious come in kind of like rebelling against against the status quo and the group think mentality i should tell you an example and we could get into it as far as like jess hilarious jess hilarious is an aquarius she spoke up in reference to black women and having the right to womanhood and having the right to have periods based on uh, the transgender blessing roles on TikTok saying otherwise. Blessing roles feels like we as women do not own womanhood. We don't own the, the gender ideology of being a woman and we don't own administration I guess and so Jess came out and she spoke which shows like I say the trace of Aquarius because she spoke out and that's the going against the status quo she spoke out in regardless of the backlash that she was going to get regardless of the whole cancel culture that goes on anytime you speak against certain movements who have certain agendas so I'm just giving y'all an example of that 
and what you see in Jess, who is an Aquarius, that's that, that's the energy. Okay. That's, that's the energy we're giving. Now with that too, Aquarius energy can also be detached. It's not that they're dismissive. It's not that they don't care. It's just that they just kind of like, well, this, this is what it is. You know, like I, I, you know, I, you're sad, but this is, this is what it is. So I'm sorry you feel that way. I don't understand it. And moving along from them. That's just the energy. And I don't get malicious. I don't get that they're intentionally just trying not to understand and be empathetic or sympathetic to be people's feelings. I just think that they see what they see they gain understanding of what they gain understanding with they put they can com compartmentalize things you know sometimes we as people we attach things to things a lot you know so it's kind of like we can uh, uh, people have a hard time to where they may like somebody music but because they heard of their horrible baby daddy, it's like now they can't listen to that person's music without thinking or attaching the fact that they are a horrible baby father. And they're able to compartmentalize that. And I feel like for other people, they get the they look at that or deem that as, oh, they're insincere. They're not compassionate. They don't care. They lack tact, on and on and on. But it's just that they're able to separate the emotion and the logic they're able to separate the two and it comes off uh like they just are you know detached which they they kind of are they are detached but it's not in an insensitive way if that makes any sense yes you definitely want to be able to separate the two but you don't want to be too detached to the point where you just kind of are dismissive or disregard people's feelings. And when I say disregard people's feelings, I'm not saying that you have to agree with their feelings. Just because I feel a way doesn't mean I'm justified in the way that I feel. So if somebody is hurt by something that I said, it doesn't mean that I said something that was hurtful. It just means that whatever mind state, whatever uh, place or space they're in, that's the way that that's the way they feel. Then the full moon in Aquarius, the what popped out to me, the message that popped out to me was evolving into your truth. I, I read something where it talked about us evolving in our truth when it comes to Aquarius and that stood out amongst a lot of things that I read. And I was like, that really stands out to me. That's the message that I kept hearing. That's honestly how I felt about this energy and they just kind of verbalize it perfectly for me. And that's what I get evolving into your truth. That's what this energy is giving me. I'm evolving into who I am, my truth, my inner child, my authentic self. And we want to make sure when we are evolving into our truths, the things we believe, the things we subscribe to, the things that we naturally feel. That I also want to make sure that it is rooted in love, that it is not coming off in a way where it's dismissive or defensive or uh, offending other people. You know, as long as I make sure that my intentions is well and I have good intentions at the end of the day. And so when you tie it into this son and Leo, the evolving into our truth in Leo's, we already know Leo's is all about confidence, self-confidence, 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 and more self-confidence. And we can really, really, really channel this energy about being confident because so this is the time for us to really shine. This is the time for us to really show up all that self-trust, uh, learning self-trust, figuring out why you don't trust last month prepared us to to know how to step into our truth and shine and let our authentic self just kind of like pour out and just step in it and be it and just let our true color shine on through if you get what i'm saying you it kind of aligns with each other with that aquarius full moon and the leo the sun in leo it kind of aligns with each other because it's like yeah 
I'm evolving. I'm allowing myself to grow into who I am. So let it shine. Put it out there. So this full moon in Aquarius, you can channel the energy to learn who you are, self-discovery, finding who you are, not being afraid to be who you are, not being afraid, afraid to be an individual, not being afraid to be different, not being afraid to stand out among the crowd, being okay with that, being okay of honoring and speaking your truth, regardless of who disagrees or who has any type of backlash, you know? So then you have that Leo that's like, yeah, that's what we doing. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. It's going to keep us rooted in saying what needs to be said, but making sure it's not saying it to be nasty. But listen, I'm saying this. You might not like what I'm saying, but this is out of love. It's not because I hate you. It's because I love you. Give me some how y'all feel. How is this full moon energy making y'all feel? Um, what do you think? How does it relate to your life? What do you think you can get from this? Do you feel like anything that I was saying, did it spark something inside of you? Did it bring some clarity or some truths to you y'all let me know comment below make sure you like this video if this video helped you make sure you also turn on your notification bell for bellaminded.com because these videos is going to be coming baby they're going to be coming and make sure you subscribe to my channel also subscribe to bellaminded.com if you want to have the weekly newsletters which also will be where I announce giveaways and where I also do a monthly digital journal that you can download and I have that up. So yes, definitely subscribe so you can get all the updates of what's going on, what's happening, gifts, giveaways, free downloads, etc. I love y'all. Mm -hmm. Her mind is beautiful. Your mind is beautiful. My mind is beautiful. Y'all make sure y'all remember that and make sure to explore every bit of it. All right. All right. Love y'all. Peace.